Kapa'a High School on Kauai has a lot of school pride from sports like the Kapa'a Warriors football team and the girls softball team, both winning D2 state titles this past season, to lots of pride over Kapa'a's academies. As freshmen, students can choose from among these academies depending on what they want to be when they grow up. Well, this afternoon, we are putting the spotlight on Kapa'a's highly acclaimed Academy of Health Services. Hello, welcome to our clinical skills lab. Come in. It's not your typical high school in Hawaii. Hi, my name is John, and I'm your nursing aide for today. So today These students at Kapa'a High School on Kauai getting a jump start on their careers. I want to pursue a career in nursing, just like how Ms. Kiani Pia Salvador is a senior at Kapa'a. I'm really proud of just our health, our health pathway of how far we've come. Thanks in large part to Kara Kitamura, who heads up Kapa'a's Health Academy. So I actually started this program. So when I first came back from college, I had originally gone to go into pre-med. And so when I first started teaching, the principal saw that I had this background and he said, hey, we want to do a health academy and uh, pulled me into it. And I that was 20 years ago and it's grown from one class to eight. We get about um, 50 to 60 new students every year. Um, as a sophomore, we carry them through. So we have about 150 to 180 students at a time in our academy. Uh, we, we do a pretty good job of trying to get them into programs as their senior year so that they are more successful in getting in programs in college or after school. Taylor Bradley graduated from Kapa'a this past year. Um, in my future, I'd like to be an emergency room physician. So She's now studying at the University of Colorado, Denver, and is thankful for what she learned at Kapa'a. Honestly, both classes, the nursing and the EMS class, both helped. The EMS with the emergency side, because I'd love to be in the emergency field. The nursing, just because that's like inpatient, like in the room stuff. Kapa'a's Health Academy also has a partnership with Hawaii Pacific Health. I was part of the summer internship program at Wilcox Memorial Hospital. I was working in the physical therapy department and that helped me get the full work experience that I would expect in the healthcare industry. There's also a nurse aid training program. And Kapa'a High School was just um, head and shoulders above the rest as far as being ready and, and being motivated to get the first uh, class off the ground. And they did an amazing job. And now that we've got um, the seven students that are going through the program now, will be finishing up at the end of the semester, which will be in December. Um, and then they'll be actually able to sit for their certification exam. And then we'll be looking to offer them employment while they're still in high school. And this small school on Kauai wins big state competitions and even gets international recognition. I think the Health Academy is pretty, pretty known because Miss, honestly, Miss Kitamura, the amount that she does for the school is like amazing. Like all the grants that she writes, everything that she gets for the school, she does so much. A lot of people are impressed when they come in to see our equipment and things. It takes time. And so if other schools are trying this, it just, it takes a lot of time to build what we have. It took, a, you know, 20 years to get that all together. The hard work and dedication. Okay, ma'am, now we're going to move down to your foot and we're going to do some exercises and it's called inversion, eversion. Inversion. Paying off. I am really proud of my students. And bringing Kapa'a some major school pride. Isn't that awesome? Wow, yeah. so cool to see the, the, the hands-on experience that mm -hmm. they get. And especially with Hawaii's healthcare shortage, it's yes. amazing to see all these young students coming up and helping. Yeah, pipeline right there. Mm -hmm. You know, about 70% of the students who are in Kapa'a's Health Academy, they actually go into the medical or healthcare field. And many of them actually either come back or want to come back to Kauai to help their community. So really incredible stuff. So there. amazing. I can see why they're so proud of that. Yeah.